हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन दी लेटेक्स रिसर्च पेपर राइटिंग टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दैट हाउ वी कैन ड्रॉ दी फ्लो चार्ट लाइक ऑफ दिस इन दी लेटेक्स लेटेक्स सॉफ्टवेयर आर पे सो ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट दिस इज क्वाइट फेमिलियर बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ यू आर वेल यूज दिस काइंड ऑफ द फ्लो चार्ट इन योर रिसर्च पेपर और इन दी थीसिस डेजिटेशन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर गर्ग वर्किंग इन द स्कूल ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स थापर इंस्टीट्यूट इंडिया so uh, basically our task is not to draw such type of the uh, flow chart only so the objective of this lecture is not only to draw such type of the uh, flow chart but also we will draw the same way we can discuss for this we can draw the same way for this flow chart are so let's start with this one so in order to understand uh, how we can make this flow chart are there we need the previous two lectures that is how we can draw the shapes and how we can draw the Uh, diagram in the latex are there so you can firstly watch these two previous videos are there the link is given in the description so that you may able to understand this lecture very easy man and all are available in this channel name dr harishkar and the link is here now in uh, how we can draw the flow chart before that you have to use this packets this and this before the begin document like here you can see this is my begin document are there so you have to write these two packages before the begin document are there and then you are able to draw this line so now uh, since uh, our task is to uh, draw this flow chart here you can see that this flow chart consists of some rectangles like see this blue color this is my ellipse this is my diamond and so on so how we can make uh, such kind of this in in here so we can firstly define the tick style block this is a label so you can change this label name with your own name this is a label so you can change them so since we need some rectangle so i can say the rectangle draw we need some ellipse are also we can draw the ellipse and some decision are also be there so this is a diamond so we can draw the diamond draw you can take here as your name like say if i take as my name hari this is another name and so on so this is basically depending upon you now once you are defining this now you can see that these are my blue color these are my red color and so on so you can define the uh, coloring here like this so that is are uh, all the rectangle color are my blue colors are there so look at that these four five are uh, rectangle which are not exactly blue but only for the 20 yard 20% is there similarly for the ellipse side you can see these are the red color are there while for the diamond this is my blue color once you are defining this now another thing is that you have to define how much the width and how much height you want so you can define like this way this is a text width what is the meaning of that text width is this is the value which he is written here initialize model the text you need to be the center so this is the center this is a rounded corner you can see that this is a rectangle but this is a rounded corner are there and the maximum height is my 4 am similarly you can draw for this ellipse you can see that how much distance you want from here you can see the node distance node distance means how much distance you want here from their boundaries are there and the height is this similarly for the decision you can see that the uh, distance will be zero and text badly center this is a center and the width this is the width are there and the node distance is here once you are defining this and another thing is that this line because you can see some are the dotted lines and the some are the thick lines so you can use that tick style line draw very thick and the color you have used as a black and why what is the meaning of this line is if you write this then the arrow will be like here if you ignore this line the arrow will be like here only so this this minus of latex will use to define this arrow in this uh, flow chart are there. so let's start with this one now you can simply write whatever i have written here in in your tick file are there. so we can start with the begin tick picture and add tick picker picture you whatever i have written here you can simply write this so now initially we will firstly define what how you can write this box are there so this is my rectangle so remember we can firstly define these nodes are there without the line so make sure that you must remember that uh, uh, this is a rectangles and rectangles are defined in the terms of block ellipses are stored in the form of this uh, cloud decisions are there so you have to use this labels while writing here like this so this is my rectangle so which is used in the block so you can say the node block again this is my label so you can use them as per your convenience whatever you want to use them in here you can use here 
after that you want to use the right expert on the left hand side of this and since this is the ellipse and ellipse is saved in the form of the name cloud and you can see the left because this is a left of initialized model and what is the label of this initialized model is h1 so left of equal to h1 again this is my label so i can call as a label expert as x2 again how you can draw this is the right of the model h1 so you can see the right of this again this is a ellipse so this is here i can call as a this is my label and this is the green color is the same with whatever you want to write here after that you want to write this which is below of this initialization model so you can write as a below of this you can take as a label this is a label identity you can use as per your convenience name this is whatever you want to write so since this is a rectangle and rectangle is stored in the form of block again you can write this this is the below of this below of the identity and label of identity is here so i can write as a below of identity this is the rectangular so i can use this block whatever the text you have to written you can write here this is a label again now you want to write this is a left of this block the label of this block is my evaluate this is my label so you can see the left of the evaluate and what is the meaning of the no distance you can see the distance of the starting line from their boundary is 2.5 cm while in the other now you can see there is no no distance appears so you can see they are very minute distance are there and you can take them the label as the update and whatever you have written here similarly now you can see this is the below below of the evaluate model so evaluate model label has this so below of this now this is a diamond and it is written same in the form of the decision whatever you have to return here this can be written here now the label of this i have stored in the form of decide and then you have to use this this is the below of below of this decision one so this is the label as decide so this is below of decide node distance is 2.5 you can see and this is a rectangle r here once you are defining all this node now it is not be the end here now what you can do is after that you have to use this vertical lines are there so you can write this here this is a draw the edge after this line are here now how you can draw this lines are there so for drawing this line you have to think about that like this i want to draw initial to the identity i have to why what is that h1 to identity what is the label of h1 what is the label of identity you you can see label is h1 is initialized model label of identity is identity candidate this so it means i can draw this line here so for in order to draw the vertical lines so you can use the path line h1 the label of this label of this so it will draw this how you can draw this the label of this and label of this so you can see the label of again the path identity this is the label of here this is the label of this so this is that double dot is means here this arrow you used because of this latex line is there after that you want to draw evaluate to that this decide so you can see here are there now you can write here this but i need the text written also here as a no so what you can do is now uh, instead of this now i have used here decide then update that is this to here so what i can do is firstly you have to go on the left hand side so i can write here and after that you have to go in the upside so i can write this that is the first horizontal line and then vertical line so this will go here in order to write this yes word so you can see the near start or you can see the near end color you want to use the text as a black if you want to use the color as a red so it will be appear as a red and whatever the text you want to return here similarly now you want to go from update to the this what is the updated model here is and for this you have to use the firstly vertical line you can see the vertical and then horizontal so vertical and then horizontal start from this update and ending at this identity so since there is no text written here so there is no need of that after that you have to write here you have to start from this this is the decision so you have to use decide and ending at the stop and whatever the text you want to written no and the color is taken as a black after that you have to write this uh, vertical lines are there uh, sorry uh, this dotted lines how you can draw this dotted line so you have to start from the expert 
to the initialization models expert is label of the expert is h2 label of the ex initialization model is h1 so what you can do is again you have to use this but you have to write here as a dash so h2 to h1 so i can return here similarly i need this this is my system label is system so system to the h1 i can write here system to the h1 for here i need firstly the vertical line and then horizontal line so i can use this text here so firstly vertical line and the horizontal line from the system to this label r so once you are written here now the complete picture is over now you can end this text here so once you will run this file you will get this output r here so if you want i can run this file for you this is the output so if you want to change this uh, only for the rectangular color what you can do is you can simply change this one to be say green because rectangular is now my green so what is that you can see once you are changing this all these are color here green if you want to change the ellipse color instead of the red you can say as a say yellow so what you can do is you can change them to be here as a say yellow you can change the percentage of this instead of the 20 you can change them to be a 60 you can see the yellow color will appears is a more here similarly you can change the green color to be 30 to be the 40 you can see here as a green this one you can change also the thick lines are there because you can see i have the very thick lines so if you remove the very you can see the lines are thick so you can change you can see the outputs are there you can see here the outputs you can change the color also you can see the the lines are my red colors so you can see the lines are now my red so you can see also if i just want to delete this line you can see now the arrow this arrow all the arrows will not be appears in here now you can see that all the arrow will disappear so in order to want to take the arrow you have to use this text r so this is the way you can construct the uh, flow chart in your uh, latex file r so similarly you can write you can draw this flow chart in a very simple manner r so we will see uh, in our next class how we can rotate and how we can make such type of the table are there you can see this table is not be horizontal are there so this have some angles are there so how you can draw such type of the table in the latex we will see in our next class till then you can simply follow this link for find the more updated videos on the latex best of luck students happy learning